In the words of Lizzo, it's about damn time. Any minute, what? Mm 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 I don't know the rest of the words, but uh, here we go with some more fashion over. Had to go in there and order me a couple more pairs of pants or denims, cause I don't know what's going on with my jeans. But yeah, let's get into it. Now, first of all, let's take a moment. Before we get into the whole, let's take a moment to get into the fact that two years ago, I made the decision and cut my locks off. It was February, the night of February 1st. I cut my locks off. Here it is, two years later, and I have a puff. One puff. Actually, I want to say back in November... I tried to comb my hair, brush my hair into one puff. And I couldn't even get it into one puff neatly at the nape of my neck. I had to instead opt for two puffs at the nape of my neck. I'm going to install or insert a photo right here of the, those two little puffs. Okay, see? See what I mean? I hadn't had my ends clipped or anything since I had cut my locks off. I just let my hair grow. I had the, I had someone to actually clip my ends. I want to say it was the beginning of December. And I got my hair some two strands with my own hair. I kept those in for about a month. Took that out. Got some chunky braids that y'all saw for about three four weeks took those out and finally washed my hair and did this i got a pony and it's not i got one pony one puff and not only did i manage to get it in one puff i managed to actually put it up here instead of having to put it back here at the nape of my neck because it was too short now the thing is i gotta find some kind of cream hairdress or curl or something to make my ponytail all this part here to lay neatly on my head because right now it's like you know curly and sticking up it's not as neat as it could be because i just brushed it up with the uh detangler i've been using my black is beautiful detangler um but yeah i'm so proud of this little puff proud is an understatement all right back to the haul Let's get it. First up, we got the World Love Long Sleeve Graphic Tee in the 1X. Got this red top to match some Converse sneakers I recently got. I actually found them on sale in the store versus how much they cost on Converse website, so I snatched them up. Um, This red is a little, just a tinge deeper than the sneaker. This is more like a tomato kind of red. And the sneaker is like a brighter fire engine red to me. But because the tee is here and the sneakers are down there, I'll get away with it. But yeah, this graphic tee fits good in the 1X. These jeans are called flexing on them or something like that. And they are high waist jeans. They fit super good. They snug on my stomach, but not that snug that hurts. It's like I'm holding you all in. And it makes my stomach not protrude as much. So, which is great. And I ordered these in a 16. They are a dark denim blue. Let's get to the next thing. Okay, so next up we have the Rise Up Graphic Tee and the 1X. And these are the classic high waist skinny jeans in a size 1X as well. These are the khaki color. This is how it looks. Those jeans from before, they were actually called Flex Game Strong High Waist Skinny Jeans. But these feel good. Real soft. Mm. You can get away with wearing these to the office because of the color too. So that's cool. 
They can even be to buy these two items as an outfit. I think I got this t-shirt to... Really? I got this t-shirt to match a pair of sneakers I recently got. I got some Nike Dunks and they're like a tan sandstone color with like a chocolate brown Nike swoosh. So I figured this shirt could go with those. And that is it. Now these, this shirt fits tighter than the last shirt to me on my stomach, but it's cool. Hopefully more weight loss is coming soon. Let's get to the next day. All right, y'all. So next up, we have this tea. It's called the Luxury Rhinestone Tea. She says luxury with these pretty iridescent rhinestones on it. And we have a pair of the famous canopy jeans and a size 1X as well. The color is called olive. Let me turn around so y'all can see how they fit. So, as we can see, the tee is one of those long, oversized tees that you can wear over some leggings. Or over um, some kind of pants where you want to camouflage your tummy area. Like so. And, I'm feeling like this is going to be a cute little shirt that I could wear roller skating with some leggings. The canopy jeans, let's talk about them. Now, it's a YouTuber um, that I had started, uh, I subscribed to, and that someone recommended one of her videos. It was back when Fashion Nova first started putting clothes out for men. She ordered her husband some stuff and had him trying it on. And he was so freaking comical, and I loved her energy, so I decided to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And her name is Mrs. Diva-like. Her husband's name is Steve. Her name is Kiki. Her husband's name is Steve. And now that I'm thinking about her, I realize I haven't seen a video from her um, in a, quite a little bit of time. I hope everything is okay, a okay with the both of them. But he was so comical in his video when he tried on his clothes. And then I went back and started watching him try, watch her try on clothes and give his reaction. And all he kept talking about was the canopy jeans. He loved the canopy jeans. So I finally got the chance to try some canopy jeans because I was ordering all the other kind of jeans besides canopy. But I must say, he right. I like these. I don't know how they making my tushy look, my bell pepper look, but I like the way they feel and the way they fit for me. It's nice. Especially since I know what my fashion oversize is. But this is the luxury tee. And a 1X canopy jeans, olive, 1X. All right, let's get to the next thing, y'all. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Steve. That's how he sounds. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's get into this. This is the Bob Marley One Love T and a 1X. I'm wondering if I would have sized down to just the regular extra large, would it fit like, because it's not like one of those shirts that's going to stretch and stretch out. It's like cotton, cotton. So, mm, sizing down, would it make it a little shorter down here, but still fit the same in the body or it was going to be tighter? If it's going to be tighter, then I, I am in the right size. But this is the Bob Marley One Love Top. And a size 1X. Now, under, we have another pair of the classic skinny high waist jeans. I thought I had it zipped all the way up, but I didn't. This is how they fit on me. This is a size 16 again. And this is considered olive. Now, the olive that this is versus the olive canopies. You saw that those were a dark olive. To me, these are more like a sage color. Like lighter for the springtime or whatever. But I still like both jeans. I thought that one of the jeans I ordered in olive would have been something that was, uh, what do y'all call it? The worn, the ripped, like ripped at knees or something. I thought I ordered some stuff like that. But I guess I didn't. 
because it, it doesn't look like any of the jeans I have um, have any kind of rips in them. But I don't think I would wear these this top with these jeans. I know that much, but um, cause and for me, I don't like to be matchy matchy. And plus, this green and this green clash, so I wouldn't wear this. Like if this was a different color here, then I would probably wear it. But no, not with this green and this green. Mm -mm. I would probably wear this with some blue jeans or some black jeans, but I love Mr. Marley. Rest up. Has anybody ever watched a documentary about him called Marley? It's really good. He actually died around my birthday, if not on my birthday. Let's get to the next. Okay, so next up we have the Cali cargo pants. I ordered these in a 2X because something in me told me they were not going to have that much stretch. As I took them out the package and stepped into them, to pull them up and put them on, I noticed the button up fly. I started to button them, and I got a little nervous when I was buttoning. I said, oh, these are not going to fit, because it felt like they were stopping right here. But they did button all the way up, as y'all can see. These are some cute little cargo pants. As you can see, you can see underwear. So, they are, I don't know if it's just me because of the way my back is. I have a dip in my back that goes like this. And my butt kind of sits high. So, this sits low here. I don't know if that's just on me and people shaped like me or what. But, notice, make sure you make note of that. The only thing I don't really care for about these, but I will keep them because who wants to go through the hassle? Of returning something to Fashion Nova only to get a store credit minus the eight dollars you pay to ship the bag to them. I feel like that's a policy they really need to change at this point. But anyway, I digress. The pants, I like them. They feel good. The only thing, I will be wearing a longer shirt with them because they show my thigh twat, which I am uncomfortable with putting on full display. Like, that's the one thing that I zero in on all the time. And I see myself in video or picture. If I see it, I, c I can't have nobody seeing that. So, I would wear a shirt like this. You know, to cover that part. But other than that, these fit kind of cool. There's no side pockets here. Just these cargo pockets here. So, keep that in mind as well. And let's get to... I think I have two more pairs of jeans, two more shirts, and one complete outfit that came as a, as a set, and we'll be done. Okay, y'all. So next up, we have another pair of the classic skinny high waist jeans in a size 1X. The first pair was a darker denim. This pair is a little lighter blue denim. I thought I ordered them in that super super light pale blue, kind of like baby blue almost color denim, but I guess I did it. These are 1X and honestly these fit a little tighter on the stomach than the other color. But I'm going to make them work because they fit good down here. And I know most of these jeans that once you start wearing them, they stretch out a little bit. Next up, we have the Black Queen graphic t-shirt and mustard, and I ordered this in a size 1X as well. That's a panther on there. Um, this shirt goes perfect with a pair of uh, Converse's that I got last year. Let's get to the rest. All 
All right, y'all. Next up, we got the anti-social two-piece leggings set. It comes with the short sleeve split tee. See how it's split on the sides. Super cute. Really nice to wear. Royal skin. And it comes with the tee and some leggings. First things first, I notice the leggings. They're going to be soggy on me. I noticed that after I put them on. Um, the t-shirt fits me great. The leggings, a little big. I could have got an extra large. I didn't like this, but you can't substitute sizes. The other thing is, I noticed when I took them out the pack, the leggings are super thin. So, definitely wear dark underwears. Or if it's your choice, thongs. Under these leggings, okay? So, you won't see a panty line and you won't see a panty print. Thongs. Or dark underwear. Dark, seamless underwear. So, you won't have to see a line in them. But, they also... The shirt is so long in the back on me that you wouldn't be able to see a panty line anyway on me for the most part. So, I will keep it because I do like this, especially this top. Even if I don't really wear these leggings like that, I'll keep it for this top. And I can always get a pair of black leggings or biker shorts to go with the top. And another thing, let me add to the um, end of this. These leggings are super long. I'm only 5'1", and they are pooling, looking like those, you know, the stacked jeans and pants that have been popular lately. It looks like that around, around about my ankles right now. Not going to show y'all that, but just, just know. Super long. So if you're a tall person, the leggings won't be short on you. They'll fit you perfect. All right, let's get to the last thing. Okay, so lastly, we have the Best Love Graphic Crop Tee in a size 1X. And Flex Game Strong Denim High Waist Jeans in a size 1X. Let me be sure. Oh, size 16 in black. Black fit different than the blue. They are tighter on my stomach than the blue ones, but they holding me in. And if I were to size up, they would then be, be too big right here, because actually right here, they fit perfect on my thighs. Again, I'm short, so you know these jeans uh, a little bit long on me, but not too, too bad. Give y'all a little crap top action. That's cute. Uh, so that's it for this fashion overhaul. I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing and try on with me. Was there anything in here that you liked or that you're going to go to the website and check out? Get in the comments and let me know. And uh, I think this is going to be the last haul or big clothing purchase for a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean for a few months because I don't have nothing to shop for exactly right now. I guess I do have something to shop for, but I can wait a little while and um, take a chill on that credit card usage. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... I hope y'all enjoyed this. Yeah, because with this and all the sneakers I've purchased or bought in the last three weeks or so. Or not even three weeks, in the last month and a half. Yeah, I can chill out. I think I got three, two last week. Two today. And one last month. Yeah. That's enough. Five pairs of sneakers and these clothes. So, yeah, that's enough. All right. I'll see y'all when I see y'all with whatever it is I want to see y'all about soon. We're going to close out this haul, y'all. 
Remember to love people and treat people as you would want someone to treat you or your loved ones. And things will be great. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Bye.